Snake Artist features encounters with hazardous or dangerous wildlife. Bill Flowers is a trained professional. We do not encourage anyone to attempt to recreate or reenact any of these activities. No animals were harmed making these videos. I'm here in the southern parts of North America and we are looking for one of the ones on my checklist which is the alligator. Now I heard that there is like a big seven foot gator in here somewhere and I want to find it. Come on, let's have a look. I'm going to sneak into the water very, very carefully. No sudden moves. I've worked with predators a lot and I find that with predators if you can keep your cool, if you can relax, if you're not threatening them in any way, then what I've got here is a standoff. I'm a predator. That's my place in nature. I'm approaching another predator of similar size. So it should be a standoff. And these alligators have got more to fear from humans than we have from them. Over the last 50 years or so, about five people have died through alligator attack. And about 350 people have been badly injured by alligators. So I'm hoping none of that's going to happen today. So boys and girls, this is a real don't do this at home situation. a worry, I'm not sure where he's gone. He's resurfaced again and I can continue my drawing but he's around the wrong way so I'm going to try and sneak just in front of him, in front of the danger end, so I can resume the drawing that I was doing. He seems very relaxed. He seems probably more nervous than aggressive. He's sort of curious. He just keeps coming up and checking me out one bad eye. Notice that his left eye is injured so because of that injury, probably through fighting, I'd probably make the assumption that he's a male. Still keeping an eye on this guy. If he decides to lunge forward, you know, I could be in trouble. Or maybe I'm just worried because I'm used to crocs all these things nibbling on me and they're little tiny fish in the water. Well, this has been an absolute privilege, an absolute wonderful experience. And I'm about ready to get out of the water. I didn't do the greatest work of art ever, but it was certainly a wonderful experience. And the art that I have done I could probably use that as a reference and continue and do a painting or something like that. What a wonderful experience. I feel like there's nothing I won't do for my art now.